Well, Halloween's over and just in time for your holiday party, the Kern County Museum's Neon Plaza has grown in size again and it just keeps growing. Yeah, here's 17's Robert Price with the latest on this fun and nostalgic feature of the Kern County Museum. A couple of vintage neon signs, that's cute, kind of quaint. Four neon signs, that's impressive. But a whole courtyard full? That's an attraction. The Mission Bank Neon Plaza has 40 signs now, including three in the adjacent transportation exhibit and two in the attached trolley bar, with another four on deck. La Tapatia, Kay's Health Food, Madeira's Auto Electric, and this familiar monstrosity, Bail Bond Leon. It like most donations to the Neon Plaza, needs some TLC, just not too much TLC. I got this sign for free from CPA Chris Jacobs, but just getting the sign is the first part. Yeah. Uh, so what has to happen then, there's a major restoration process. We usually repaint, people say, why do you paint? But when all the paint's coming off and you're gonna put it back in the weather, we stabilize the paint. We like them to be old and weathered looking. We also, also redo all of the electrical innards the transformer, and then we have to bend and put new neon on. McCoy isn't sure what to do with some donations like this one from the Downtowner Inn near the Chester Avenue overpass. The city gave us this, and I said yes before I saw it. And um, so this thing probably weighs about 10,000 pounds, and I don't know what we're going to do with it. So if you know anybody that needs a boat anchor for a big boat, let me know. But, but he's pretty excited about this treasure from the old Buck Owen Studios on North Chester in Oildale, the old River Theater. Backlit neon that ran across the front facade. Buck Owens Enterprises with the name Buck Owens in red script. We would really like to expand Bakersfield Sound and add another wing. And if we do that, uh, let's just say by accident we inherit a bunch of Buck Owens stuff. We could have a Buck Owens room. This neon sign would go up in that room. That would be the prize of the collection. The Neon Plaza bookended in the northwest corner of the Kern County Museum property, roughly between an old vintage Union 76 gas station and Spartacus Miller's Padre Hotel rooftop missile, is available for events, for private holiday rentals, or anytime. Maybe there's something wrong with Mike McCoy. The Kern County Museum Executive Director doesn't seem to want to ever stop building on the Neon Plaza. At the Kern County Museum, Robert Price, 17 News.